It's your girl Sophia RSVP and I'm back with a new video. Yesterday I attended the Coco Con event at the Four Seasons Hotel. And if you don't know what Coco Con is, I looked on the Coco Con website and I went to the about section and it said, founded by Catriona Smart and Hala Rafati, Coco Con is designed to create an educational resource for women across all industries with the aim of building a community of spirited individuals in their diverse career stages and uniting them with opportunities to learn, share, grow, and build relationships. I love this. It's a great opportunity for women and men to network, uh, get some information that is totally relevant to the trends that are happening right now, and uh, you know, just to have a great time. The event was put together by Hala Rafti, uh, Katriona Smart, and the guest speaker on the panel was uh, the editor-in-chief of Elle magazine, Vanessa Kraft. This video is to give you guys a little bit of insight into what happened, but it's really to talk about their swag bag. So. They were bragging about this crazy swag bag that they give away at the end of the night. It was all the rage uh, throughout the preparation of the event. Um, and I will get to the bag. I did want to tell you guys that if you didn't get an opportunity to go to Coco Con this year, there is obviously going to be an opportunity for you guys to go next year. So when you guys saw, see the post, um, go ahead and get your ticket. They put the tickets on through Eventbrite. And there is a Coco Con Instagram page. If you, I'm going to read you guys what the invite says. In this edition of Coco Con, we will focus on this ever-changing world and the current landscape as it relates to the digital age. With the advent of social platforms, the digitizing of traditional media, true power of advertising, and the rise of influencer marketing, we will explore how those intersections affect us all and what we can expect in the future. So our guest speaker was Vanessa Kraft, and she is the editor-in-chief of Elle magazine. Uh, we talked about how uh, all these new platforms affect her in her role as an, an editor-in-chief for the magazine, how things have changed. I think it was it was maybe not John Batista Valley, but it was maybe Ellie Sop, something like this. And we noticed that the editors were in on, in the front row, but then opposite us on the other side of the front row were influencers. So they separated us so that we could both be happy of having our own little. And the editors were all like dressed down because we're working and we like we're fabulous, but we're not in a ball gown in the front row. So I was kind of like, oh, she looks cute. <laughs> so the conversation was awesome I got a lot out of it and I loved how interactive and engaging Catriona, Hala and Vanessa were there was a question and answer period so a lot of people got to ask a lot of questions that they wanted to Vanessa Kraft ended up um, staying to take pictures with everyone afterwards and to answer questions and she said she would stay for a half an hour and she stayed way longer than a half an hour <laughs> this event was fantastic everything was set up really 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 beautiful I would definitely attend this event again I am a business owner I use social media a lot the way that I run my Instagram it actually it makes or breaks my business. The information that they had last night was really, really useful to me and I know would be useful to a lot of other women in the industry in so many different roles. If you do get the opportunity to follow them, I would follow them on Instagram so that you don't get left out of any future events that they do. Vanessa's uh, stories about how she got from her original position to where she is right now with Elle. That story was really great and inspiring to hear. You create a situation around your career and around your life where you are known for who you are as much as for what you do, right? Because the landscape, as we just talked about, is changing constantly. Um, and if you are known for the person that you are, like, look, Michelle Obama is no longer the first lady. Does it matter? She's better than ever, right? And we know who this person is, and whatever she does, we know what she stands for, we know where she's going and what she's doing. So I think that in, when there's so much competition out there and there's so much happening, it's easy to get led around by just do this, do this, do this. Know who you are and know what your lane is and where you should be operating. Um, I would say that also, you know, if you're a content creator, um, you know, the medium may die, but storytelling will never die. 
So it's the way we've been connecting as humans since the dawn of time. Um, and it is really truly the way you remember something. It's the way that the magical moments, those nights that you're just shooting the breeze at home or whatever. Storytelling is key to communicating, to getting a message across. Look how strong my message was because I talked about my thong. <laughs> right? And even the other ladies, Hala and Catriona, um, I think for me as a business owner, uh, one of my favorite parts of the event was when she was pretty vulnerable, talked about owning her own business and having to close it for whatever the reason. I ended up going up to her at the end of the night and giving her a big hug because, you know, you guys have known since you've been following me for a while that I'm in like my second year of owning my own business. I'm here at a time when people usually give up. I'm still kind of fighting to find my way and have my own lane and my own place in this retail business. I really appreciate the ladies for all of the information that they gave us last night. I attended with a couple of my friends, uh, which you guys will see all the pictures on Instagram. I started posting them in my story last night, so look out for those. And if you don't get a chance to see them, check the highlights. Yeah, it was a really great event and I would definitely go again. So thank you, ladies. Now let's get to the part that you guys have all been waiting for, and that is the Coco Con swag bag. I'm going to open the bag right now and I'm going to show you guys everything that was in it. I've not gone through the bag, so you guys are going to see this for the first time just like me. I have these cases. It says some, some of the parts. It looks like they're like little makeup bags, I guess. Uh, unless something was in them that fell out into the rest of the bag. The April 2019 issue of Elle magazine. Coco Con notebook. Water Cure by Margaret Atwood. A Joe Fresh, what is this? A Joe Fresh notebook, it looks like. And Lorna van der Haag, Collagen Plus, Smooth Skin, Thick Hair, Strong Nails and Bones. This is, what is it? Drops? So check that out. And then what's this? So I also have a Nutra C Omega 3. What is this? Just one teaspoon a day. Guess it's like a liquid vitamin. Check that out. We have Burt's Bees lip balm. That's always good. Can't have enough of those. We have a Vino Fresh Greens Blend dry shampoo. Always good, especially for my wigs. A Yves Rocher Anti-Age Global uh, Activating Lotion. Maybe this is like a toner. I would think. I'll look it up online. We also have from Laneige, we have Essentials to Go Kit, which is a three piece kit, a multi cleanser, moisturizing cream, and a serum. Super cute. In Lust We Trust. So this is granola, <laughs> seductive granola for every appetite. We have that granola lust. Guess that's good for your yogurt parfaits. Dermacom Eczema Cream. Hand and contact eczema cream. Cortisone free. I don't have eczema. I will pass that on to somebody that I know will be able to use it. Amplified Lip Lacquer from a plant-based brand I found out last night called Saint. Their makeup looked really, really nice. Their lip lacquers look nice and i'm so glad they sent me this color because i love this color it's more like a nudie pink the color is called champagne or champagne -y. so we have that lip gloss from saint we have ogx silk blowout and protection product for your hair this is nude by nature touch of glow highlight stick Oh, super cute. Oh yeah, this is cute. It's a highlight stick, awesome. Alrighty, Yves Rocher Anti-Aging, what is this one called? The Anti-Aging Beautifying Cream. All skin type. So we got a moisturizer from Yves Rocher. That's nice, Yves Rocher, great brand. We got a couple more flyers in here. I guess uh, just some uh, Information I can read up on some of the products that were in here. What is this? This is called healthyplanetcanada.com So we got a gift card to healthy planet of $25 
Super cool, thank you. And then lastly we have a pen. D3 drops, what are D3 drops? D3 drops, not sure what these are for. I'll read it later. Papain enzyme mask from Elizabeth, Elizabeth Grant. Enzyme mask, cool. And then last but not least, Hounds Black Vodka. Yeah, girl, black vodka. <laughs> so just a little Mickey of vodka. I got a lot of stuff in this bag. And then of course you have your recyclable bag, which is so cute. So that's everything that I got from the event last night. The event was awesome. I'm so glad that I attended. Um, I just wanted to give a shout out to Vanessa Craft, uh, Hala Rafti, and Katriana Smart for putting together a really, really great event. Um, it was awesome. Well, I think that's it, guys. If you have any questions about any of the products that I showed, let me know down below. Maybe I'll put in the description box everything that they gave us in case you guys are interested and do some links for you guys down there. Um, don't forget to follow Coco Con on Instagram. I will also put the link down below for that. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell so that you guys know when I upload a new video. Follow me on Instagram if you're not already following me or the store. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.